The SLS Space Launch System is getting ready to go. NASA's gargantuan moon rocket topped by the Orion spacecraft gets its first chance to lift off on Monday when the two-hour launch window opens at 8.33 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And when it launches, America's incredible Artemis mission to return to the moon that started with the Orion EFT-1 launch in December 2016 continues on the path to send crews to Mars. Weather is a major factor in determining if and when Artemis 1 goes, and meteorologists with the U.S. Space Force currently predict a 70% chance of favorable weather conditions for launch on Monday. The primary concern for the two-hour launch window is scattered rain showers, but wind and lightning can also be factors hindering Artemis 1's takeoff. And once this mission goes up, the momentum ramps up to keep us on a path of humans living in space like never before. We're going back to stay on the moon, to live and to work as human beings in a hostile environment, to get ready to go, not the quarter of a million miles to the moon, but to go the millions and millions of miles to Mars. I am so excited about this mission. First, it's opening the door for the first woman and the first person of color to set foot on the moon. It's also setting up a steady cadence for us to go out and do exploration and science. This mission shows that we are ready to explore the rest of the solar system. And that's most exciting of all. So join us right here for continuing coverage from Cape Canaveral as the world prepares to watch America head back to the moon on Monday. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt. Three, two, one, mission. And lift off. Copy, one alpha. Vehicle down range. Trajectory nominal.